Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we hope you haven't refunded your subscriptions to the Football Stooges. We are here live coming at you with the divisional round wrap-up and conference championship prediction. Four teams left, only three games, technically four if you count the Pro Bowl coming up in the football world. Um, the season's wrapping up, it's winding out, and this is where it is the most exciting. Um, I cannot wait to get into this episode. I hope that you are ready to enjoy the festivities and fun we're about to bring at you, and we're ready to break down um, some of the biggest games thus far in the NFL season. I can't do this alone, never can, never will, and without further ado, a yinglingless, for the first time in forever, Mastodon. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no, no. He said fuck it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. But a, the, when the Cowboys lose, America wins. Amen to that. My brother probably won't like that, but I, I got to get him on here one day so you guys can yell at each other about NFC East rivals. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> and Mamba still riding the hive, winning the tank ball. You better refund those tickets, man. Better refund those tickets. Better refund you better those refund those tickets. tickets. Oh, man. We got a lot to get <laughs> to. We got to break down Dude, some of the you games. Know what that might, you know what might happen? I'm pre- I'm going to predict this right now. The Super Bowl is going to be Bengals Eagles. There's going to be you two fighting yeah. over each other. <laughs> We're going to have to put Mamba great. in the middle of this uh, setup <laughs> and put me over off to the, the left. I'll just start left. it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. When we fight each other, call me right now. Yeah, I still want Bengals Niners. I want my revenge. Even though I was not alive at the time that Kenny Anderson and Boomer Esiason were fighting Joe Montana for a ring, I I want it. I want it the bad. money I want it line Bengals. is actually sounding like it's going to be Bengals Eagles. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, the Chiefs were the favorites before the Bengal before the Bengals and Bills even played, and then yeah. I think the second the my Bengals got in, the money line went whoop. <laughs> Just and the, the Bengals injury. Favor. Yeah, high that high ankle sprain. sprain. We'll talk about that. High ankle sprains are are tough, um, and they are a tough thing to deal with. But again, we're jumping the gun, um, much like the Cowboys O line that whole game. About to get fall, flagged for a false start. So let's take it one step at a time um, and go ahead and break down some of the stats. Um, anyway, as you can see above, we'll give you a quick overview of what happened. We're looking at the divisional round, which is the second round of these playoffs, as you can see above us. Um, so the Chiefs and Jaguars played a lot closer than people actually predicted. Chiefs actually got the win though late. Jaguars made some key mistakes, a couple bad passes, a fumble, kind of cost in the game. Big note from that was the Jaguars were able to play well despite their defense this entire season being kind of shit. Um, <laughs> but then another big thing from that is Patrick Mahomes didn't play the entire game. Um, he actually went out with a high ankle sprain. Chad Henney came in, played a bit, was a dog. As a former UM grad, I'm happy to see that. Or he was, I'm not. But, you know, as a UM fan, seeing him do well was fun to see. But at the same time, um, yeah, he'd not play. Patrick Mahomes didn't play the whole game. Um, So he has a high ankle sprain, and those tend to last a couple weeks. So that could drag on and have some issues there. Um, Eagles, Giants. Damn. Um, All I'll say about that, Eagles won big. Cowboys, Niners. Cowboys, you know, in the playoffs, like Squidward with the fork in his throat, choking. Um, and then Bengals Bills, probably the best game, a snow game, a classic game, a game that you'll see highlights and replays of constantly, a very aesthetically pleasing game, a game that people were saying the Bengals had an unfair advantage because they were wearing white uniforms. Okay. Um, <laughs> so Bengals ended up getting the win in Buffalo and advancing. So we have the conference championship between Chiefs Bengals and Eagles, Niners, and the AFC and NFC, respectively. Um, that is your full overview. And now let's dive right in to the actual games. Um, let's take a look at this first one, which was on Saturday, Jacksonville 20, Kansas City 27 in Arrowhead. The Chiefs get the win by seven. Um, Trevor Lawrence, 24 for 39, 217, one touchdown, one pick, two sacks. Patrick Mahomes, two, uh, 22 for 30, 195, two touchdowns, no interceptions, no sacks. Chad Henney, 5 for 7, 23 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions, no sacks. A great performance from a backup quarterback, what they really needed. Uh, ETN was shut down, 10 carries, 62 yards, one touchdown. 
Um, no one else really ran the ball too well for them. Kansas City had a great day from Pacheo, 12 carries, 95 yards. And on a specific run, it looks like the, the, the most aggressive, violent run I've seen. And it wasn't like he was bowling over people. But the fact that he was, like, chopping his arms so fast, you could probably hear in the stands just the... It's like, just... A violent run. Um, and then receiving Zay Jones for the Jaguars, five receptions, 83 yards. Christian Kirk, seven for 52 in one touchdown. Then for Kansas City, Travis Kelsey, 14 receptions, 98 yards, two touchdowns. Closest to him was Kadarius Tony, five receptions, 36 yards. Um, thoughts on this game, gentlemen? Honestly, I thought Jaguars could have pulled it off because of Patrick Holmes' uh, high ankle sprain. Like, there was a chance that they could have done it. I mean, they're a young team, and they're bound to make, make mistakes because it's, what, when was the last time they were in the playoffs? 2015? 2017. Yeah. 2017. 2017? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been a while for them, but even in 2017, they weren't really a great team. But, no, I mean, future's bright for Jacksonville. Uh, just get some key piece, you know, just add some pieces around um trevor lawrence and i think you got a really good team there in terms of kansas city um i mean yeah they have to rely a bit more on the run game because patrick mahomes is not mobile and that's going to be a problem going forward against the Bengals. yeah especially since the Bengals have a better pass rush yeah so i don't know you go for it oh one thing i've seen a lot of uh people saying Travis Kelsey was going off again. You have He's to always limit off. Travis. Always... But I mean, you, well, you can limit him. When the Bengals beat him, they, he had like four receptions. You're not going to stop him from getting any receptions. But if you can limit his numbers, that actually hurts the Chiefs offense big. And Yeah, but they do have a lot of weapons. Like decent weapon. I mean, yeah, Kelsey's dangerous. Kadarius Tony is spotty. Schuster is inconsistent but good and then Pacheco out of the backfield is pretty good so i mean their only surefire superstar target is kelsey the others are great complimentary you know i i mean honestly besides kelsey wouldn't you take t higgins over any of these other receivers yes t higgins jamar chase is over Kadarius tony would you take, and, juju smith. and would you put maybe tyler boyd at that level of Kadarius tony and juju smith schuster Maybe just yeah. below or just kind of like really – yeah. So, I mean, Around. again, Kelsey pulls people toward him and then others get open. But then when they, they try to cover everyone, Kelsey just beats his man. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what Bengals' game plan is going to be, but – I mean, they got to they gotta be blitzing, if I'm honest, if uh, Patrick Mahomes playing with a high ankle sprain. They, well, they do have yes. better pass rush than Jags. Yeah, um, if we can get to him, um, which, I mean, last season in this AFC Championship game, Hendrickson was a beast. He was running up and Mm. down the field, chasing Mahomes everywhere. Um, And that was with a healthy Mahomes, with an unhealthy Mahomes. And, well, I mean, it's still not a fully healthy Trey Hendrickson, but he just has a broken wrist. So he'll just, like, run up to Mahomes and club him across the neck with it and move on. (laughs) Old Deacon Jones style. But, I mean, yeah, if we can get pressure, that's great. But a lot of times when the Bengals have beaten the Chiefs in the past couple times they've played, a lot of the times it's been like show blitz and then you, you like drop and play cover four. And then Mahomes is sitting there like, what the f-? And there's just like people everywhere. Yeah. And, it's, and a look you didn't expect to see. And then all of a sudden yeah. you play cover four and then you send like our absolute heaters and like um, Mike Hilton zipping around the outside from a far off set to confuse them. So we've thrown a lot of confusing looks at Mahomes, and I think if we continue to really go throw some fresh stuff at him, um, it's going to confuse him. And with less mobility, he's not as good. He's still Patrick Mahomes. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. He's still very good. I, but I mean, he can this still takes a fling key the aspect. Rock. Yeah. <laughs> but he can still sling the rock, but that's the only thing he can do right now. Even then, he's, um, he that it was his right ankle, I believe, that was the issue. Yes. And that yes, is, yeah. as a right-handed quarterback, um, that is the That's foot that you plant, point. that you push off of to get that rotation to throw. I'm not a great thrower at all. But at the same time, when you push off that back foot, you are putting weight through your leg bones into your foot, you know, the whole thing to push off of that. A high ankle Wait, sprain is the separation of the two lower leg bones. And so putting pressure on it is super painful and it's restrictive. He looked fine. Like throwing the ball 
after the once he got injured. He looked fine Think throwing. Killers. He did not look fine moving around. Running? No. <laughs> uh, no. But um, I think also for Jags, the interception and this fumbles kind of killed oh, them yeah. on their drive. They were going down the field and could have tied the game. And then I think Trevor Lawrence threw a pass to Jamal Agnew. Agnew. Caught the ball, uh, took a couple fumbled, steps, yeah. and then just whoop, there it went. And I was like, no, Jacksonville, you had a chance right there. Yep. You, and they had a great right. chance. They would have tied the game, given the ball back to Patrick Mahomes with a lot of time left. Even with if, if he went down and scored, they would have time to score as well. So, like, they had the perfect opportunity. And now, wow. The young team. Young team that has. It's a lot of upside now for Jacksonville. Yeah, it's oh, an yeah. upside now for Jacksonville. Like, let me, let us laugh at the Chargers. Good job getting rid of Urban Meyer. Make sure. Uh-huh. I mean, but now that you have a quarterback yeah, that looks Urban. like a franchise quarterback, you can draw some people there. You got a couple good weapons. Evan Ingram's looked great. Christian Kirk has actually kind of looked close to what you paid him to look Calvin, like. Calvin yeah. Ridley comes back. Calvin Ridley comes back. Marvin Jones Jr. is still eighty-five motherfucking years old and still scoring the football. And then ETNs looked great. They have a good old line. Sheriff was a great pickup. You need to you need to just bring in some defensive players. Maybe try, try to get you know um, uh, Jalen Ramsey back maybe and you know work hey. with him there. Ram, Ramsey wants out. I, I bet you the the Rams are gonna just full on rebuild. Yeah, soon but enough. you don't know if Ramsey's gonna come back. I don't to think Jacksonville. Ramsey's gonna go to Jacksonville. He's I mean, going to go to a legitimate team. Cincinnati, baby. <laughs> Give me another corner. A woozy A and Ramsey. Ooh, uh, we got to pay everyone else first, though. Well, um, or J- Jesse Bates and get rid of Eli Apple. I, I kind of <laughs> want Eli Apple to stay now because this playoffs and stretch that we've had, he's been really good. He needs to shut his mouth on Twitter, but he's looked really good. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's he's looked really good. He shut some receivers down. Like we'll take a look at the Bengals Bills game and look at Stephon Diggs numbers. Mm. Not a silch, nothing, zero donut bagel, nothing, bupkis. Like, yeah. So again, Kansas City twenty seven, Jacksonville twenty. Chiefs get the win in advance to their fifth straight AFC championship. Woohoo! Yeah. No one, no no one wanted that. <laughs> um. All right. Rip, uh, rip do Oh, shit. We got the divisional round, bro. Is that do rag Danny? Yo, man. First half. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> that was the one and only Trap House Sports. Um, I mean, what did you look expect? At, it's the Eagles. The score was 28 oh, okay. to nothing going into halftime. Um, the final score Eagles 38, Giants 7. Wow. Um, if anybody was concerned about the Eagles going into the playoffs kind of on a downtrend, they kind of flipped the script, went the uh, other way, and showed up and showed out. Um, Jalen Hurts, 16 for 24, 154, two touchdowns, no interceptions, one sack. Daniel Jones, 15 for 27, 135, one interception, five sacks, no touchdowns. Uh, for Eagles rushing, Kenneth Gamel, 12 carries, 112 yards, one touchdown, and Miles Sanders, 17 for 90, as well as Jalen Hurts, 9 for 34, and Boston Scott, 6 for 32. 268 rush yards in total. Hot damn. Um, for the Giants, Barkley, 9 for 61, Daniel Jones, 6 for 24, Matt Breda, 4 for 23, and Gary Brightwell, 1 for 10. For receiving, Devontae Smith was the main receiver for the Eagles. Um, Six for 61 and one touchdown. Dallas Goddard, five for 58 and one touchdown. AJ Brown, three for 22, no touchdowns. Again, only 154 pass yards in total. But again, they won the game by this much. They were just grounding and pounding the Giants. Um, for the Giants receiving, Richard James, seven for 51, zero touchdowns. Saquon Barkley, two for 21, zero touchdowns. Matt Breda, one for 19, zero touchdowns. Marcus Johnson, one for 17, zero touchdowns. Um, you can see the trend here. Um, they were still outpassed by the Eagles, 135 yards to the Eagles, 154 passing yards. Um, a dominant performance. I mean, yeah, Good, Mama. like, like I said, it's, it's the Eagles. They're about to fuck shit up as usual. I mean, they're the best team in the league right now. Of course they're going to fuck up do rag Danny and the New York giants. I mean, it wasn't even expected for the giants to even win this game. Like, let's be honest. I just ask a New Yorker about that. They would have said the Giants were winning. 
Yeah, well, actually, New Yorkers are de- New Yorkers are delusional to begin with. So, <laughs> all the smog in the air, yeah. all the smog and the rat piss that got smelled. Start spreading the news. We're <laughs> going home today. <laughs> Love the Mets, baby. Love the Mets. Love the Mets. Love the Mets. Mets. Let's go, Mets. (laughs) Fuck the Mets. Uh, No. (laughs) (laughs) You with me, Mamba? Thank God. Uh, Fuck every New York team, let's be honest. No, but. uh, Okay, the Knicks. You can't do that to the Knicks, man. They fucking suck, anyways. They suck, yes, but they're one of the most storied franchises, and they have some of the greatest stories of all time with players. And when was the last time they won the championship? Uh huh. huh. What was the last time? Was it the seventies or the sixties? I thought it was the nineties. No, oh, they I don't know. The Bas- I don't, they went. They went a ton of the nineties, and it was like a, Patrick Ewing wow. met Hakeem Olajuwon, and then Hakeem said, "Dream shake." And, okay, I know. don't know. I don't know basketball, so I'm like, "Fuck the Rangers, fuck the Islanders," and then that's it for that one. Oh, I I, I like the Rangers. I mean, I'm a big Lundy fan. I liked I liked Lundy when he <laughs> played there. Oh uh, god, but but, um, but my my team's but stars game. though, so. But, but well, I mean, overall, I, I mean, this was to be expected that the Eagles will fucking violate the Giants. I mean, so, it was expected the Eagles would win, but by this much, I think people were thinking this was going to be the Jacksonville good. Kansas City score. The well, Eagles still, are good. The Giants look better well, on paper than Jacksonville does. The Giants have a more balanced attack on offense, or a similar balanced attack on offense, but then a better defense. Just because the Giants beat the uh, Vikings doesn't mean they're a good team. The Vikings are the Vikings. <laughs> no, I don't think no. anyone's saying that. So, well, the reason why Jalen Hurts coming off his injury, like everybody, it was a lot of thoughts of, all right, how's Jalen Hurts going to do with that shoulder injury? Lane Johnson still has a groin injury he's playing through. So, Thibodeau would have... through, too. Yeah, I know. Good God. Um, and, like, they're going to have Saquon Barkley come running in. They thought it was going to be close. Saquon hasn't really mm. produced like a shit ton of yardage. Well, he, that's the thing, though. Saquon's turning into a Christian McCaffrey dual threat kind of back, I think. He only, yeah, he's going to be I big guess. on the ground, yeah. as big on the ground anymore. I mean, he had, what, a total he's of a, uh, 61 to- yards, rushing yards. He has, 82 yeah. total of receiving. I mean, I'm just glad that Nick Sirianni actually said, oh, wait, we have running backs and actually used them. Yeah, 268 oh, no. yards of rushing, man. In Boston. Oh, also, funny thing, Boston Scott, he has 18 career touchdowns. 11 of them was against the Giants. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, the ultimate test now is the Niners, which is probably, arguably, one of the best teams. Oh, yeah. We'll definitely get to that. And that is going to be a great yeah. matchup to look at. Um, yeah. It was just a complete game for Philly. I'm happy. Oh yeah. Moving on to Snow Game, Snow Game, Snow Game. Snow Game, Snow Game, <laughs> Snow Game, Snow Game. Uh, get the Snow those, Game that we wanted. Get those refunds <laughs> in. Holy moly. A classic. And I'm talking a classic. Not just as a Bengals fan, but as an NFL classic game that you're gonna see highlights of for years to come. In Orchard Park, New York. Bengals go in. 27 to 10 beating the buffalo bills at home sending the bills home packing again um this game was decided in warm-ups when joe burrow decided to throw a no look spin around flashy pass to trenton irwin for 50 yards in warm-ups if you, if you take a look at that highlight again I, we can't show a ton of nfl stuff um just because copyright issues and whatnot but if you take a look at that video if you look up joe burrow warm-up bills game it is a work of art the slow-mo they got on that um game was over then um Bengals came out and uh, threw about a dominant performance. Joe Burrow, 23 for 36, 242, two touchdowns, one sack. Josh Allen, 25 for 42, 265 yards, one interception, one sack. Uh, Joe Mixon um, didn't look like Walter Payton this time. Um, I'll, again, I'll take my words back that I said last week. I said they looked really bad. And it was maybe their one fluke. Looks like it was. Thank goodness. Um, Joe Mixon looked a lot better. 20 carries, 105 yards, really abusing that um von miller list um front line um and he ran for again 105 yards a 5.3 average and one touchdown josh allen again the lead rusher for the bills eight carries 26 yards one touchdown 
Um, as far as receiving, Jamar Chase, five receptions, 61 yards, one touchdown. Hayden Hurst followed him up with five receptions, 59 yards, and one touchdown. And then Saman J. P. Ryan, the old man at Oklahoma, five receptions, 31 yards. Um, for Buffalo, Dawson Knock, five receptions, 65 yards. Uh, Khalil Shakir, two receptions, 40 yards. And Devin Singletary, five for 38. As you can see here, Stefan Diggs, four receptions, 35 yards, 10 targets. Um, at the end of the game, he was vis visibly pissed at Josh Allen, coming over to him as they were losing. And Josh Allen was kind of emotional on the sidelines, very sad, you know, sitting on the sidelines, just kind of just sitting there looking at the floor. Stefan Diggs gets over there, puts his arms out, kind of just, you know, it's like, what the fuck, you know, to him, just starts jawing at him and walks away. Um, not a good thing as you want to see, but again, Stephon Diggs is a very emotional guy, so that was coming from him. Um, but the Bengals are in a dominant win. The most impressive thing about this is without a starting left tackle, right guard, and right mm. tackle, the Bengals oh, yeah. aligned looked like a reincarnation of the Steel Curtain or the Great Wall of Dallas. They were pancaking people. It was like a 24-7 Waffle House with syrup included. There was a billion different crackdown blocks. Ted Karras was out there, like, throwing Matt Mil Milano around like a Barbie doll. It was an absolute phenomenal performance from the O-line and something that we really needed, especially with so many people being injured, out, and limited. Yeah, I mean, I've been saying this for quite some time as Macedon's pillow fell off the chair. Uh, I've been <laughs> saying for quite some time, Buffalo has no rush attack. They don't have a balanced offense at all. Like, it's all pass, 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 pass. I mean, I it's... Like, if you look at the Bengals, if you look just statistically, like, they're able to balance pass plays and the rushing with Mixon and a little bit of, uh, was a P. Ryan. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you can't... It's... You're too predictable at that point. Like, the Bengals are just going to do cover... Just cover fours for days. They'll cover two because they know four, they're cover or three cover two. Just, yeah. Cover, yeah. Just cover like that's all you need to do because you already know they're not going to run the ball because they don't run the ball. And the we Bills. were still able to get pressure on Josh Allen. Um, we almost caused a fumble and they called it a, a pass because his arm was slightly moving forward. Trey Henderson was able to get in there and disrupt it. Get some quarterback. Yeah. hits. Um, we had two tackles for loss, one sack, eight passes deflected and eight quarterback hits. So like we're still yeah, getting to so the quarterback and we didn't blitz a ton. Um, and even if then, I, the Buffalo Blitz, we picked him up, too. Yeah, no, Ooh. I mean, if I'm the Buffalo GM, I got to start looking for a real good rushing uh, rushing guy. Eric Henry. A good running back. Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs is Josh Jacobs Jacobs most maybe. likely. Josh Jacobs is most likely. To, like, a lot of money. Going to cost right. you a pretty penny to get him, but, it'll, I mean, yeah. they'll have a better chance of making it to the Super Bowl. Yeah. You need a balance. They've been that. falling short because, like, Who past are they couple of years, like, all this money though. Like, I know obviously Diggs, Allen, and Miller. Um, Tredavious White. I thought he was getting paid. Uh, yeah, or is he still yeah. Tredavious field? White, and then there's also another Milano's going to get Milano's going to get paid if he hasn't getting paid already. Yes, he will. Von Miller, um, I think. Are they paying? Yeah, no, him a yeah. Lot? I said Von Miller's getting. Von Miller's. No, okay. Von Miller got a lot. Von Miller got a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, Tredavious White. There's also another. Yeah, and probably and Gabe Davis is going to get paid too. He's looked really good this year, even though he had an off game this game. I mean, Buffalo's defense is good. They're just, I mean, typically yeah, they're good. Injuries. They're just, it's just injuries. They got banged up. Yeah, I think that the lack of Von Miller allowed protection for Joe Burrow to be extended yeah. a lot, which was great. Um, even though I kind of oh, want the Niners, I think a better matchup for the Bengals would be the Eagles because the Eagles don't have pass rush as well as the Niners do. Um, so if we can protect Burrow, it, you know, you give Burrow time, he could find a needle in a haystack from the pocket. So Yeah, I mean. Also, I just noticed 99% attendance, not 100%. What's going on there? And there's Old always snowing. going to be winter. Old snow. It's not always going to be. I don't trust this attendance other. statistic at all. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. But yeah, yeah. that will yeah. just has got to yeah, be I mean, there's up. just again, no, no pass or no uh, rushing from the Bills. They're too predictable. I don't, I don't think they're going to win that. Yeah. Tough, tough matchup for the Bills. Again, even as a Bengals fan, I, I like the Bills. 
we have a good relationship with the Bills. We sent them to the playoffs one year because we decided to play all of our starters in the final game of the season to beat the Ravens to send the Bills to the playoffs. And, and I remember the, the Ravens. Yeah, the next season, the Bills got like a standing ovation for Andy Dalton as he walked it onto the field to play them. People were in Andy Dalton jerseys as Bills fans. <laughs> Bills were printing Andy Dalton Bills jerseys, like mm-hmm. just because he sent them to the playoffs for the first time in forever. So I like the Bills. Yeah. I'm sad to see them go, but. Uh, speaking of sad to see them go, a, t- a team that I'm not sad to see go is them Cowboys. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, checking in <laughs> on Cowboys. <laughs> fans. Uh, breaking into the um. The final that's, score. That's 90- definitely a cheap TV, though. So yeah, there's nothing yeah. else I've lost. <laughs> definitely um, a, a, an interesting game to say the least. Final score: nineteen to twelve. Niners overcoming the Cowboys. Um, Brock Purdy, nineteen for twenty nine, two fourteen, seven point four average, no touchdowns, no picks, two sacks. Dak Prescott, twenty three for thirty seven, two oh six, one touchdown, two picks, and one sack. For rushing, um, it was not great. Tony Pollard fractured his fibula, his outer lower leg bone, um, earlier in the game um, on a very nasty ankle injury. It was awful. Yeah. Like his ankle got caught behind yeah. him and did like a whirly bird helicopter. Dwayne the Rock yeah. Johnson in the bathroom, like just you know, crank. Dwayne the Rock Johnson in the bathroom. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Wait, I gotta describe what? it like that. What the fuck? What? His man, the man's oh, ankle little... went into a spin cycle, dude. Yeah. Into a blender. Sorry, a little far, but anyway. Um, Ezekiel Elliott, 10 carries, 26 yards, a 2.6 average, zero touchdowns. Dak Prescott, the next leading rusher, four carries for 22. And Tony Pollard, six for 22. Um, for San Francisco, Elijah Mitchell led the way, 14 for 51. And then Christian McCaffrey, 10 for 35 and one touchdown. Debo Samuel also ran four for 11. For receiving, CeeDee Lamb went off, 10 receptions, 117 yards. Uh, followed up by Dolphin Schultz, five receptions, 27 yards, and one touchdown. For San Francisco, there were only five people that received the ball. George Kittle, five for 95, no touchdowns. Debo Samuel, four for 45, no touchdowns. Juan Jennings, two for 26, no touchdowns. Brandon Ayuk, two for zero, or two for 26 and no touchdowns. And Christian McCaffrey, six for 22 and no touchdowns. Um, they still had more receiving yards, 214, than Dallas's 206. Um, and to make things worse... Um, the first point after attempt attempted by Brent Maher <laughs> was shut down like Muggsy Bogues driving into the lane against Dikembe Mutombo, swatted out of the air. So um, I believe the Dallas Cowboys, and I'm calling it right now, um, I believe the Dallas Cowboys will draft Jake Moody out of the University of Michigan with their third round pick. Dude, Maher got me so much, so many fantasy points this year. <laughs> he knew the he fantasy really season was good. over. He knew the fantasy yeah. season was over, and he's like, he I don't have any really reason to good. make these I'm, anymore. I think it was just a weird fluke, just like one of those days, or he m- must have been injured with something. Weird. Nah, it's the Cowboys. Know. Oh, yeah, it's the Cowboys. <laughs> How about them Cowboys? And not to mention, they're just cursed. The Cowboys had the ball at the final play of the game. And they lined up with one <laughs> Zeke. Ezekiel Elliott Zeke snapping Elliott. the ball to Dak Prescott. And they had their like tackles out in the wide receiver positions to throw a screen to a guy so they could block and then do a bunch of laterals and something zany and wild. Um, it went and you think, oh, that's interesting. Um, it went like this. <laughs> Um, that Zeke might be was, the worst play I've ever yeah. seen. Zeke there was, was blown like, off the ball. It was like watching a 17-year-old bull rush a 12-year-old lineman um, flattened into the ground. I think his like criminal white tape outline is mm-hmm. still there on the field. Like, then the ball was thrown to, I believe, CeeDee Lamb. CeeDee Lamb was then sawn in half. By, uh, by, I think it was Fred War- uh, Warner. The, the yeah. Colts did War- something like this <laughs> ages ago. Oh yeah, McAfee did that a while ago. Uh, yeah, so McAfee, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, McAfee hated it. Oh my god. Uh, the weird thing is, though, this was a bit it, was better. Like, oh, this again. was a bit better because when McAfee did it, it was one guy on the O line and four guys rushing him. And McAfee was under center. Yeah, but like, it's the Cowboys. How are you going to escape that? But <laughs> then the Cowboys did it. Zeke snapped it in a. 
the Cowboys did it to where Zeke snapped it in a shotgun set. So it was like at least a little bit more time, even though Zeke got like bulldozed like a freshly paved road. But I have to say this. They would not have to have gone to do that if one Schultz would have kept on going forward instead of backwards when he went out of bounds and wasted so much time. Yeah. Two, oh yeah. If he dragged if he actually dragged his foot, actually dragged his foot with the catch instead of go, oh I got it. I'm gonna take one foot off, only have one foot down and go out of bounds and make it an incomplete pass. Yeah, what was up with Schultz? He was like not in it at all. Yeah. Like it's, that, like I, you, like that you was have a bad to drag your game. foot on that. That was a bad off just, game for him. Bad I don't know. off game. It's because he the, faced against a real defense. Cowboys needs to just, uh, just tear down the building. It's cursed. <laughs> they need. I mean, if they're gonna get rid of anybody, they need to get rid of Zeke. His contract's too much, and he's looking like Leonard Fournette right now. Yeah, it's no, he's working. he's gone. I don't. Is his contract up? No. Dalton Schultz looked good. T.Y. Hilton looked pretty good, too. And then Michael Gallup didn't look great this game, but he's usually been pretty good. And then keep Tony Pollard. He'll get healthy. Maybe also draft a running back to get a two-back rotation with him. But then Dak. He has the same record as Tony Romo in the playoffs. Exactly. It's it, You need to rip I'm the I'm pretty band-aid. sure it's just the Cowboys' rip, is curse. You need to rip the Band-Aid off, man. Like, there's a guy who? out of Baltimore called Lamar Jackson. That could be cool to get if you can get him. There's also this guy out of Green Bay that has, like, four MVPs. That's being rumored to be traded that we'll talk God. about later in this podcast. Oh. God. You know, Aaron Rodgers to the Cowboys. I'm oh my God. And then also dude, there's this dude, guy dude, out bro, of like Tampa will Bay. Shit hold on. on him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you think Aaron Rodgers would go play with Mike McCarthy again? For enough mm. Quaaludes, yeah. <laughs> Fucking Quaaludes. But then also there's this guy <laughs> out of Tampa Bay that could be persuaded to go there possibly. There's a ton of different options. They could trade Dak for a first round pick, maybe draft a quarterback. There's a whole bunch ain't of options. Ain't nobody gonna give Dak. They're ain't nobody gonna give a first round pick yeah. for Dak. Uh, the no Jets. one's giving up first. The Jets. The Jets. Okay, the okay Jets. because they're fucking dumb doesn't mean no, everybody Yes, bro, but am I wrong? Jets, no. But the Jets should go with Mike White. Like, why not? Yeah. Mike because White. Mike White is probably still rehabbing a broken rib, rib, <laughs> rib, rib, <laughs> back, shoulder, knee, calf, head, He'll be torso, nose, eye, year. ear. Because he got sawn in half by Matt Milano. I have never seen a Mortal Kombat fatality mid-game <laughs> than Matt Milano sawing him in half like a like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, I'll be good for next year. Oh, yeah. But, okay, about the game, though. I mean, with Tony Plard getting hurt, like, their run game was done. Like, yeah. it was shut down. Yeah. It shows so, why you need, to, you need to get rid of Zeke somehow. Yeah. I mean, is, is his contract up at all or no? No. No. I mean, he's not, no, he's not, not even. He signed like a 300 year deal for $85 jillion. Like, <laughs> it's Jerry Jones. He's going to yeah. do something that's. He overpaid dumb. Ezekiel Elliott and Ezekiel got bad because, again, I mean, running backs don't last that long. I think Jerry Jones was thinking, oh, this is the next Emmett Smith. And he turned out to be the next, you know, uh, uh, Leonard Fournette. Eddie Lacy. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. And then Dak Prescott is literally. A repeat of Tony Romo. I gotta say, Brock Purdy though, unreal. How he's uh, leading this he team. He wasn't great. He wasn't that good. But, but he's, he's a rookie player. Bed. I know. I know. Yeah. Like, look, 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 look. I get he's he a rookie. The bed. I get he's a rookie. You can't use that excuse if you lose a game in the playoffs. You gotta show up or you gotta go home. I mean, he's showing up right now. And okay. he showed up he showed up well enough. It wasn't like oh, no. it Joe wasn't. Montana, but it wasn't Joe Flacco. Well, actually, it was the was, average Joe enough to yeah. get the Joe. What was actually done. What's interesting is early on, like in the first half, they were playing him kind of conservatively. Like they weren't like, you know, slinging it for deep. Well, I mean, that's the thing. They wanted to get the thing. ball out quick because they were worried about the pass rush. But at the same time, if you go and you watch film of this game, of specifically of Trent Williams and Micah Parsons, Trent Williams made Micah Parsons look like a peewee football player. It was <laughs> insane. You should look at I, I as a lineman sicko, it was poetry in motion. It was like a work of Shakespeare, like a writing of Edgar Allan Poe, like a painting by Leonardo da Vinci. 
uh, Parsons was throwing everything in his bag. The kitchen sink, the tiled floor, the, 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 the tub, the shower head, the, the mattress set. Everything was being thrown at Trent Williams. And Trent Williams was just, no, nope, no, nope, get the fuck out of here. And then just gone. Another one, oh, trying to get around. Whoop, there he goes. And then boom, try to get in. Oh, crash you down. Boom, eat the dirt. Like, it, it was the yeah. most beautifully executed pass protection against an elite pass rusher I have seen since I've watched tape of like Anthony Munoz versus um, Bruce Smith. It was mm. gorgeous. So beautiful. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, again, I'm a lineman sicko. I love watching the offensive and defensive lines and seeing that live you know, I was just like. I mean, you gotta wow. watch it, especially because you're a Bengals fan. Got to keep I mean, close eye on that offensive line. True. I also need to see. They held. Like, they held up. They held up against. Well, the yeah. Bulls. Looking at I the mean, Bengals I, offensive I mean, line, they're good nice. now. Yeah, they're good now. Now I'm just God. This, but uh, the, the, the championship game should know. be good. 49ers and just Brock Purdy and it's it's insane. I don't know. It's it's crazy. You have to say it's un, like it's unreal. The almost he's like in. it's. It's a script yeah. that no one has thought of, kind of thing. And I have to, I have to give credit. You have to give credit to coaching for this. Oh yeah, I have. Like you, you can't say that. Oh, Brock Purdy I mean, could be working in. Brock system. Purdy might go back no. to being a backup next year, and the Trey Lance takes over. Yeah, but the plays that you, know, you said thing. Kyle Shanahan has drawn up to get Purdy to the position where he can make these passes is great. And Brock Purdy's not yeah. a bad quarterback, but at the same I mean, time, he's he does fast not have the. Too. He's, he, yeah, he's sneaky he's, fast. He, I mean, yeah, he's got some wheels. I mean, like I said, I think the day of like the Peyton Manning immobile quarterback are over. I think every quarterback that's coming into this league has some sort of wheels. Yeah. Like, I, I say you need enough wheels. Like you I mean, need a little Joe bit Burrow of wheels, but still, you don't need like, a Lamar Jackson wheels. You know what I mean? No, not at all. But like I mean, yeah. Daniel Jones is pretty damn fast if we're talking about. You know, quarterbacks. He can break yeah. off a lot of runs. He looks like kind of like a poor man's Josh Allen. Josh Allen can run over people. Joe Burrow yep. doesn't run over people, but he will also scramble a ton in the pocket and get out. Guys like Russell Wilson can make things He's happen sneaky. in the pocket. Yeah, a young yeah, Aaron Rodgers was super fast and mobile in the pocket. I don't see many yeah. people I would you know nowadays like Peyton Manning that would just sit in the pocket and someone to get close they just you know chuck it at their feet because they you know they couldn't yeah. move. You know, there's not many guys like that anymore. Everyone is somewhat athletic Matt Ryan and fast and the enough Colts. to move. Yeah, Matt, immobile Matt Ryan. See someone coming, just like, ah, shit. Just puts his arm up and is like, all right, I'm going to try to hold the ball and loses it anyway. Um, yeah, Saturday, 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 Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> uh, I think, honestly, if you guys saw the CBS preview... Oh. For the you, Bengals and Bills game, Matt Ryan was in studio. Um, he looked great on camera. He did great in that broadcasting segment of it. I, I think, see. I think, I think he's retiring and he's going into broadcasting because yep. after that performance in the booth, he's he's set. He's got a contract. One more probably food wait for, for him. thought for this game. Do you guys? Do you guys saw the uh, Kittle's like uh, bobble catch? Oh my god! Yeah, that was unreal. one hand bounced but, it off his so enormously large hat and then. Apparently he should have been a in, in a legible receiver because he lined up on the line as a blocker. Did you guys yeah, ever know that shit? That shit gets weird. Yeah, it gets especially with San Francisco's ever changing fronts that they throw with like Kittle, Usechek, Samuel. Isn't McCaffrey. that if you're on on the offensive line blocking, like you're not a, a, a legible receiver? Um, anymore, right? it comes down That's to amazing. if you are on the line, but then the offensive linemen are further in the backfield in that pass protection side, and if one of them is too far back, he's actually considered in the backfield, and if the tight end is on the line, then he's considered on the line, and they switch positions. I mean, it looked like he was on the line. Um, I didn't see much about that. I don't know, but at the same time, no. I mean, it wasn't called. I mean, so just take a look whenever you have a free time. But it, it looked like he was Cowboys. on the line, so he should have been. I'll have on to the break out. I'll have to break up the NFL rule book to see if it that's could. Uh, it could be the Cowboys fans just being fucking Cowboys fans and just complaining yeah. about everything. This yeah, guy shouldn't have been able to receive. The refs are rigging the game. The amount of XYZ. videos I've seen of Dak Prescott jerseys being burned. 
is <laughs> insane. Uh, it's it's interesting. I, I mean, I don't think I think the, the the franchise is cursed. I don't think Dak is a bad quarterback. I think they're just cursed. No, I think they've had two two mediocre-ish quarterbacks for the past you know segments. And Jerry Jones gets into everything. Uh, you think of a Metal yeah, Simoner? He does. Get Jerry lot, Jones is number one. Coming from mm. Bengals fan, they had do they have that had owner issues? <laughs> yeah, but your owner just didn't do jack shit. Well, yeah, but now that we have a GM that's actually doing stuff and just says, hey, let me control the team, you you do everything you need to do, it's a lot better. Because before, Paul Brown and Mike Brown were rated as the worst executives, well, Mike specifically was rated as one of the worst executives ever. I think he was, like, of all the major American yeah, He probably sports, saw that ranking. He was the he's sixth like a, worst. And he they probably finally saw that ranking them. and they're like, oh, I need to step back and sit yeah. down for a so second. So they finally got a um, GM from the uh, Patriots and look where that got us. Look where that got us. So, wait, is a Patriot sloppy second actually worked? <laughs> Go, yeah. Like, I'm being serious. Are the Bengals a new Patriots? <laughs> I am actually being serious. A sloppy, a well, uh, not Bill Belichick sloppy second, uh, but Patriots, Patriots sloppy second also mm. worked for Tom Brady going to Tampa Bay. Yeah, but I mean. Uh, Tampa that, Bay, the year they won the Super Bowl, I think. I, it was I don't count players. I count. They I count were, the coaches and GMs. They were sneaky good. Like they had a lot of dogs that people. They weren't sneaky Tampa. good. They were. They were an all star team. You had Nadama and Sue, Vita Vea, Leonard Davis. No, uh, but I'm David, saying the year before. Uh, the year before, like their defense was still like really. Yeah, their good. defense was still when good. That's they why had Brady. Uh, that's why James. Brady went there. That's why yeah. Brady went Mike there. They, David, they Mike had, Evans, Chris yeah, Godwin. People they had thin, scoring people options. They had a good O-line, and they had a good defense. And Brady went there just like San Francisco's got a good O-line and a lot of scoring options I don't and good think, defense. I don't think Brady's Brady on the 49ers there. anymore. I've said it every no, episode after, for the past after like After Brock weeks. Purdy and all this stuff, dude, there's no way. Who That's better for Brock Purdy to learn from? He's got a hundred years ahead of him in his career, basically. Bro, I think he's he's doing a pretty good job right now. I think he's learning a lot from. Uh, it's Shane also Ryan. Brady's also pissed off of like we gonna do. I don't know what I fucking gonna do. Yeah, Brady someone talked to him <laughs> on his on his podcast and was like, "Have you had made any timetable and you're gonna make your decision?" He's like, "I don't fucking know. I would have done it already." Like passive aggressive, <laughs> super at the guy that asked him the question yeah. said he was scratching for an answer. Um, but yeah, Br- Brady. Brady's Brady. Pissed. Brady needs. Brady needs his. Uh, his. Uh, what they call it? The Robin to his Batman or whatnot, aka uh, Gronk. Fuck <laughs> Gronk. Yes, he needs Gronk back. Oh, Gronk's not coming back. I think he, he Gronk yeah. even was like, yeah, no. I would I'm love it. Done. I would There's love actually- it if when Brady goes and does announcing, which he's going to do because he's going to get the GDP of Switzerland for his yearly income. Um, he should have Gronk as a sideline reporter and just like, we'll throw down the field on the Gronk and then just have Gronk ask the most dumb ass, like cinder block oh, brain you... questions. Do you Be like, like hi, a... Zach Taylor, how are you going to win this game? You know how they have Back the Manning you, brothers Tom. on like... Mondays? <laughs> yeah. You know how they have the Manning brothers on Mondays? They should do, uh, Gronk and Brady. No, no, no. You know how no, funny that is. Keep the be? Manning brothers, but no. they have an alternate Tuesday cast where it's Manning and Gronk, or uh, uh, Tom and Thursday. Gronk. Thursday, yeah, Thursday, Thursday alternate Amazon. cast, Tom and Gronk. I love the Manning cast. It's just like some people that they get in. It's like ah, I don't care much. Oh, the about, people that get in, it's funny. Oh, I'm here, back. I don't mind if some of the like past football players because that's cool. But they need to get in like David Letterman or some other shit. It's like oh, yeah, yeah. If I All get right. to laugh at the Cowboys, I'm happy. Yep, as is most of America. Um, it's a little bit bigger here. There we go. All right. All now right. on to our predictions, starting with uh, the AFC. Match as well. We talk about the team's more like football, baby. Fifth straight AFC championship game. He's coming, baby. Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon, and the Bengals are coming back to Arrowhead. We're three and zero against Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, and the Chiefs, including the postseason. Um, again, I've said it all year: Bengals only got better, Chiefs only got worse. I'm taking the Bengals in this game by fourteen. Where's it taking the Bengals? Look at your shirt. Well, even regardless, <laughs> what I said was right. The Chiefs only got worse. 
They lost I, yeah, some players on defense, yeah, and they yeah. lost their best offensive weapon in Tyreek Hill. Yeah, sure. I mean, I so the high ankle sprain is going to bother um, Holmes. Like he's not going to have mobility. The defense is going to know that coming in, and um, they're just going to fuck him up. So I'm going to go we Bengals. Need, yeah. We this. need a big game from Hendrickson and a big game from Hubbard, and it's it's locked up. Yeah, this is definitely um, if Bengals win the defense, they win. I'm going Bengals also because. Mahomes is not as mobile. They got, uh, Chiefs facing a better D line, and also Bengals have they, they clicked. They clicked at the right time, and they're starting to go off. Yeah, like after that Bills game, it's like all right, yeah, I gotta get picked the Bengals right now. That, yeah, that Bills game was dominant too. That wasn't just a win. Yeah. That was like a just a punch them in the that mouth. That was a statement. Kind of that weird. was a yeah. fucking statement. Um. Sorry, Macedon, but I, I, yeah, ooh. I don't, I, again, this game is tough. Eagles Niners is a tough This is matchup. actually, this is very this tough. Is actually it's, it's a 50 because, 50. Again, it's I said last 50/50. week, Niners, great pass rush. Eagles, great O line. Niners, great offensive weapons. Eagles, great secondary. Um, it, it's just like you have these two juggernauts inside the ball and they're going to come clashing against each other. And um, both teams like to rush if the coaches actually rush them. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I am taking the Niners in overtime by three. That's how close it is. I'm. Going. So I want, I want to say this first. I want to, I want to take the Eagles because I want to see you two argue in the next. <laughs> podcast. I want to see you two dog fighting out here. Okay. We'll have two weeks to cover it. I think we'll have to cover the Pro Bowl. I don't know how the yeah, fuck we're going to do that, but. Pro Bowl flag. Oh, who cares about the fucking Pro Bowl? Yeah, who, uh, well, we, we should cover the Pro Bowl. We got the NHL All Stars coming up in about a week. Well, we should we should talk about like who made the Pro Bowl and who got snubbed, and then the fill-ins that they throw in because of the people playing in the. Did Super McCaffrey Bowl, get so. snubbed? Uh, well, I mean, I don't think he only his season was only half good because his time in Carolina uh, was true. True. He was trying not to get hurt and carry the team on his back yep. like he's been doing the past however many years. That is yeah. true. But yeah, Eagles, because I just want to see you two just fucking go at it. And I'm just going to be over here. It's like, I won the tank bowl. <laughs> <laughs> first pick, we're going to trade away for three first rounds because someone's going to trade three, three or four first round yeah. picks. Like, we, yeah, because we someone's have... going to trade away. No, I, like, in all seriousness, Bears could actually get a decent deal. Someone's going to say, round. I'm going to, um, someone's going to say, fuck them picks. And yeah, you know, and we're going to grab them. But. Fly, Eagles, fly. I'm going to say it's by a last-second Jake Elliott field goal against 49ers. Oh <laughs> I, I'm calling it right here. Do you see how the A, the AFC, it's an A? Of the Chiefs and the Bengals, who has an A in their name? Bengals. And then the San Francisco 49ers is an N. The NFC. It's a no, no. It's a number. There's no That's N's. a number. There's no N. Spell out forty nine. There's an N. I'm saying it's been this. I have it's the numerical. script. I have the script right here. I got the script right. Oh, here. you got Roger Goodell's script or something. I got the script. I snuck in to Roger Goodell's five hundred dollar mansion. Goodell oh, wants mansion. to see uh, Mister Irrelevant Super Bowl. <laughs> Watch Miss Relva get blindside hit by Trey Hendrickson in the midsection, gets sawn in half. Mike Mike White against Matt Milano. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, just on Riddick, Josh Schwett, Fletcher Cox. Actually, I can name who some is more. the 49ers backup now? Some guy off the After... practice squad. Some guy that's like yeah. probably oh sitting God. on the sideline the whole game, like, D -d -d don't get hurt. Don't get hurt, Brock, please. I, I can't do this shit, man. Like, please. Like, man, I, I, gotta, I got my life ahead like, of me. Who like, do that? Cool. <laughs> like if Brock goes down, there goes your season. If Brock goes down. Hey Debo, look, you can do everything else. Just just run Wildcat, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> can we Actually, get I Peyton Manning to... on the can we get John Elway on the phone? <laughs> or Joe Montana on the phone, please. Get Joe Montana Hello. Joe Montana unretires come back. <laughs> leads the Hello, Vinny Tesservade. No, this is Johnson. not a prank call. No, no, no. Oh, it's Josh God. Johnson. Oh, Josh Johnson. Sure. Um, well, didn't he formerly play on the Bengals? No, he was. Uh, hold on, who was he? Who is this guy? Josh he was drafted Johnson. in in two thousand eight. Okay, in the league a while. 
What do you got? Uh, okay, he hasn't he's, played uh, a San game. Diego. Oh, no, he, he's played. Okay, so he was drafted. Oh, by he Tampa played in Bay. twenty. He played in twenty twenty two. Never mind. So two thousand nine to 2020, uh, 2012, Tampa Bay. Cincinnati from 2013 to 2014. Yeah. I, yeah. And he then, was the backup. Oh my God. Yeah. 2019, he played in the AFL. And in 2020, he played in the XFL. That's fucking wild. Yeah. <laughs> and he was on the Ravens for 2021 to 2022. Yeah. Um, he was a backup quarterback that we had. I remember watching in the preseason. And he's he's mobile. He's real mobile. He's real 36. Fast. He's old. Yeah. yeah he's old he's... now. But he, he was really mobile. He, he might not be now. But he was very mobile. Very athletic yeah. quarterback. Reminded me a lot of... Um, Kind of the style that, um, oh, what's his name? Tennessee quarterback that didn't get hurt. The one that. Oh, Vitch Young? No, no, no. Currently, oh, uh, current Tennessee quarterback that just oh, graduated oh. that filled in Friend uh, Hooker. Malik, he filled in Malik Willis. No, filled in Friend oh, Hooker. Oh, Tennessee University. Tennessee, oh. yeah, the Vols. I don't know. know. I don't know. Now, 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 now. We're going to throw the. I don't, the I, don't fucking... watch, I don't watch that much college, so. Wish that I was on old Rocky Top. We're gonna throw the field goal in the river. Yeah, um That shit was funny though. Yeah. I can't remember his name for some reason. It's it's Whatever. on uh I gotta Yeah, that, that's that's our predictions of going into the Super Bowl. I gotta figure out his name. <laughs> you were really looking. Joe Milton. He played a lot like oh. Joe Milton. Had a decently strong arm. Wasn't mm. great on accuracy, but was super, super fast moving around the field. Um, I think of all the teams in here, the team that the majority of America doesn't want to see in the Super Bowl is the Chiefs. Am I wrong? I'm actually surprised about that. I thought you would have said Eagles. No, because I think people like the, especially, well, I mean, a lot of people don't like the Eagles, but also at the same time, a lot of people love the Eagles unconditionally, especially Philly fans. The Niners fan base is huge. The Eagles fan base is fairly huge. Um, the Bengals have a, a bandwagon now um, of fans, and everyone loves Joe Burrow, regardless of if you play against him or not. <laughs> um, but, like, the Chiefs have been to, like, like you see this with voter fatigue and, like, like LeBron James in basketball hasn't won the MVP a lot because he still is the best player in basketball, debatably. But also, like, no one wants to give LeBron James MVP seven years in a row. This is the fifth straight year the Chiefs have been to the AFC Championship. It's kind of boring. You want to see fresh I meat, mean, new teams in there. I mean, Andy Reid did that with the Eagles, and he still and he fucked up all that. Mm, mm, mm. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Bengals don't like the Chiefs. Chiefs don't like the Bengals. We'll see how it goes. Um, we just need to play our game and we'll beat them. We'll go to a second straight Super Bowl. Um, but yeah. And then potentially lose again. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> We're getting it done this yeah, year. Nope. We're getting it done this ah, year. Well, them, them Eagles are pretty good. Yeah. I don't know if Lane Johnson can, with like a bad groin, is going to stop Trey Hendrickson. Oh my god, that is painkillers right there. You just, you just. All I know if (laughs) if Eagles make it to the Super Bowl, if they win or lose, they're going to burn down Philly. You just see him with the Bane mask on and like the 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 like the green goo in his back running through his veins. Ah, I just start smacking everything. Venom. That's what that's what it was called for. It's venom. venom The the Bane's venom or whatever. Yeah. The um, gang burn the gang burned down burns down Philadelphia. Win or loss. You shut up. It's called a party. <laughs> yeah, Bro, so the, the over the over <laughs> under for the games Actually, yeah, what, what is the over under? Philly negative two and a half, Cincy negative one and a half. Dude, it's Oh, that's Cincy one. Yeah, huh. but the reason why they had the Philly one like that is because of home field. Yeah. Makes sense. Brock but Niners Purdy. don't care Brock about Purdy no home is field. not ready for the amount of special expletives that are going to be rocketed his way and personal attacks to him and his family on social media accounts by the Eagles faithful. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! We're not the Cowboys. Well, there's okay? one thing with Brock. Oh, is, hold, can... hold, hold on, Mason. It might not be you, but you have to realize. If you say anything about all Santa, due, it's, he's all just a due, blasphemous image of All Odin. due respect, oh, the Eagles are the most toxic fan base in the I'm NFL. I'm gonna step back, eat some popcorn in the corner. Have you seen Boston? The actual racist. 
I mean, okay, it's definitely like Boston <laughs> Cowboys and Eagles are all up there, but I feel like the Eagles are just like there's a certain level of like you know just you know go birds, go birds. Like there's a certain level of just like ugh, you know that you get out of them that you don't get from like Cowboys fans who are depressed. Uh, because uh, Bos- the Boston start. the Boston fans are all high and mighty. Yuppie, how pinky this... raising, smart ass Boston college kids, but then you got like the Cowboys fans who are, I don't even know, and then the Eagles the fans are just started no, before like... Bengals and Eagles ended up the Super Bowl. The arguments yeah. already started. But then, started. then you have the Eagles fans who are these tough blue collar people, and like they get dirty with their insults. I feel like. But also, they're diehard fans as well. And so if, if, if you're with them, you're with them. But sitting them, here in the corner them. as a Bears fan. At least I'm not a Cowboys <laughs> fan. At least I'm not a Cowboys fan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about um, that I think we'll get into now is that news was coming out um, because of the Pat McAfee show, actually. And it was about Aaron Rodgers because it was Aaron Rodgers Tuesday oh. today. And it came out that Aaron Rodgers would, one, be willing to reorganize his contract if he was going to stay in Green Bay. Um, try to take less money, get more people on the team, maybe look at D-Hop. Now that Kyler Murray is going to be out the entire season, D-Hop's career is slowly starting to narrow down. Um, maybe look at getting him. Also, the Packers have said that they will take trades for Aaron Rodgers. They have opened that door up, and they are willing Jesus to Christ. accept trades for Aaron Rodgers, which would include a player just to keep the roster spot, as well as three first-round picks. Yep. Um, yeah, but that contract and, is so massive. What team's going to be able to have that? Jets. The Jets, who have already oh, sent, who have Jets. already had uh, two. Uh, the Jets have already had two calls to the Packers. Can you imagine have, if Rodgers and the goes Jets have Bears. already the Jets have already put a package that meets the Packers' requirements. The only thing that's waiting for it to go through is that if Rodgers will accept it. Yep. Guess what? The Bears have a lot of money. What if Rodgers goes to the Bears? That's the third thing you, I was going to yeah, say. Is that you would, the, you would the, Packers are, the Packers are already denying any and all trades that come from NFC teams. He is NFC only being yep. traded That's by the NFC. NFC teams? What? All? All Why? NFC teams. That was what came out of the Packers front office, is that all NFC teams are automatically being denied any talks. That's it's crazy. Only the AFC teams, bro. If there's a bro. trade, it's only AFC. So if we look at all of the AFC teams, what teams would Rodgers fit on best? We've already talked about. Let's start with the AFC East. Um, Patriots is only probably one. not. They already got Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi, which I mean they're iffy, but at the same time, I don't think Rodgers <laughs> is going there. And Belichick would not want. Aaron no, so no, uh, no, hell no. Um, then. Like, Belichick would make Roger stop going on the Pat McAfee show, cancel all the State Farm deals, and, like, just shut everything down. He wouldn't do that. Um, Bills, Josh Allen, no. Um, Dolphins? Uh, only no, I could no. only see that I could only see that happening if it's a Tua for um, Aaron, Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers with the three picks deal. I could only see that happening then. Mm. Or if Tua calls it quits because of the concussions this year. Only. Those are the only ways to see that happening. That'd be crazy And then the Jets... Will. I could see the Jets. I could see it happening. If Rogers awesome. say, yeah, I'll play in New York and pay 75% of my contract to taxes every year. Um, the Jets? Yeah. I mean, Brett Favre did that. <laughs> Wait, that will literally, literally be Brett Favre. That will literally be going from... Wait, Favre yeah. went to the Jets? When? Yeah, yeah Favre went this. Packers, Jets, Vikings. Minnesota. Yep. Oh, I don't what remember. If, what if, what if Rogers does the same thing and goes Packers, Jets, Vikings? Vikings, that would be, That'll be that hilarious. Would be funny. Oh, okay. So that's oh. the AFC East. Yeah, AFC, AFC South. South. Um, I don't think he Tennessee? would want to play in Houston. Jacksonville, no. T- Jacksonville, Titans, no. maybe. Yeah, yet I could. Uh, maybe. I think Tennessee. he would have. He he'd have worse weapons. I don't in think Tennessee. they have money. I don't. Yeah. Think he would have, have money. worse weapons in Tennessee. He has better weapons. And in Green Indianapolis than Tennessee doesn't does. even have weapons either. No, Michael Pittman. Michael Pittman's good. Michael Pittman is I a mean, good option, as well as Jonathan Taylor is, is a good option, too. Jonathan the Colts have been churning old QBs. 
And they've all been failing him. Uh, the, the Colts, the Colts have yeah. the the Colts were another team that did call the Packers and talk. They didn't say what was happening of what was really? offered, but they oh, called. Really? The the Colts were one of the teams that was called and accepted by the Packers. I'm getting all this from Bleach Report. I don't have my own sources. I'm not Adam Schefter. So, but um, what I've seen from Bleach be. Report is um, that Rogers has, or it's not Rogers. The Colts have contacted the Packers about obtaining. Rogers. Um, Colts Matt Ryan would have to retire dude. and forego his contract. Um, yeah, the Colts, yeah, the Colts need to rebuild. Um, AFC yeah, North. Um, oh, Bengals. The Texans, which, no. <laughs> no. Uh, Bengals, no. Joe Burrow. No. Um, Ravens, Cleveland maybe. Cleveland Browns, no. They already have a weirdo at quarterback. Um, yep. Ravens, Rapido. it depends on if Lamar leaves. No. And then even then, you I have... I think Lamar's leaving. I don't think he's gonna stay. Even, I don't think even the front if, office is gonna. Even want if him. Lamar leaves, though, like that could work. But at the same time, like you have Mark Andrews and no one, no and then one. you would have to bring in a new OC, which would be interesting. It would be interesting, yep. but at the same time, um, you have no good receivers. I mean, maybe he goes there, maybe D Hop goes there, and there's also like seventy five year old Deshaun Jackson there as well. That could do something with Mark <laughs> Andrews. <laughs> I mean, and Steelers is no because Steelers is no. Pickett. No, yeah, they're gonna develop Pickett. I don't think they're gonna want to like just say, "Hey, Pickett, move over." Here's Rogers. Um, so that no, leaves the AFC West. Um, Tiny hand Pickett. So, Chiefs, no. No. Chargers, no. 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 Uh, Raiders, Denver maybe. Broncos, no. 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 I think they're gonna right. stick with Broncos Russell. Country, let's rock. <laughs> Um, so they're gonna Raiders. they're gonna stick with Russell. There's just Raiders. 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 Derek Carr leaves, in comes Rogers, he reunites with Devontae Adams. But people have been oh, saying no. they, they've been people been saying uh Brady might go to the Raiders too. Yeah, there was talk of Brady. I, I, I covered that last week. Brady. I don't see that still. I still don't. And then Brady's you like, I don't know what the fuck I'm Raiders. doing. We're going to put some money on this. Where but imagine, like, Brady's not making his decision. And all of a sudden, the Raiders are like, we need somebody or else we have no one. We have Stidham yeah. and no one. They're like, Rodgers, get over here. They bring Rodgers in. Yeah, I mean, it, it's possible. Las Vegas is a nice city. I, I, mean, I would also nice definitely see, I would see also D-Hop. I would see DeAndre Hopkins leaving Arizona because he has a crony toddler, tiny crybaby toddler Call of Duty Fortnite gamer of a quarterback that he wants to leave in the dust. And he, I could see D hop going to either a, the Brady's next team or Rogers next team. I can see him going either place, regardless of if that's yeah. Green Bay or somewhere else. Um, but hey, I think the Raiders most have enough money for all this. Maybe they're not paying anybody on defense besides Max Crosby. Yeah. Um, that's so true. I would definitely say the most likely positions for Rogers to land. If it's not with the Packers, Seems to be the Jets, the Raiders, the Titans, the Colts. Could you uh, the Colts or the Ravens, depending on Lamar's situation? Could you with that one. That could you open up uh, the team's cap space for next year? Is there a way to see that? I'll pull that up because we'll know from that where he's going. Brady or Rogers, Mister Discount, double check. Because, I mean, if a team doesn't have money, they don't have money. Like, there's no yeah. way they could eat up, they could eat Rogers' contract. Like, it's, yeah. he's getting paid um, the most in the league so, right now, no? So, Bears oh are the my most God. at $279 million, followed by Yikes. Giants, 213 Texans, 206 Falcons at 189 I like this. Bengals. Bengals at 5 Damn. Can you imagine yeah, a top gonna, five team with cap space winning the Super Bowl? They're just going to pay They're definitely going to have to start again. pay. They're going to have oh, to yeah, paying. no, we are. But at, at the same time, that I like that. I like that we have that much money, and we're going to be able to use it on Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Trey Hendrickson, Mike Hilton, Stobe Awuzie, Sam Hubbard, DJ Reader. Ooh. Like, we're going to be able to use it on a lot of these guys. I we're see also, no Raiders. Where's the Raiders at? What's going on? Damn, oh, my God. They won. only have, uh, they only have mil. 61 mil. There's no way. How are the Saints negative 30 mil? 
<laughs> oh no, they've been paying. No, they they are really shit in cash space right now. They've been in. <laughs> Who are they paying? <laughs> oh, that's that's oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh my god, that's the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the shot <laughs> of the contract. <laughs> That's the Watson contract. Okay. You know They're the Rams. And the Rams. That's fucking nuts. Yeah. Fuck How do you pay negative two? Oh, because they're paying Rodgers. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here's the here's the Saints. Alvin Kamara, oh, Buffalo, Michael really? Thomas. What? Yeah, Buffalo doesn't have that much money. Because they're paying yeah, Josh yeah. Allen, Cam Stephon Jordan, and Von Miller, Cam Jordan, Von Andy Miller, Dalton, um, Justin uh, uh, Winston. James it's pretty Winston. hard for them to get a Taysom back. Hill, Lattimore. Wait, they're going to have to play Taysom Olave Hill? soon. We're talking about the Saints, yep. how they're negative 30 Saints. mil in the cap. Wait, um, how much is Taysom Hill getting paid? I thought he's not going to pay He signed a new contract he's, he's a as a tight end. He signed it, yeah, as a tight end QB he's hybrid. He's not even that good. He's yeah. he's just like a hybrid prodigy. Yeah, What's going on Michael with Michael Thomas, 59 million. Oh Ryan Ramschick, 24. Marshawn Lattimore, 22. Andreas Pete, who's really good, 18. Alvin Kamara, 16 mil. Mario Davis, 16 mil. Taysom Hill, 14. Fifteen million. Yeah, that's too much. They need to get rid of Cameron Jordan. He's being paid more than Cameron Jordan and Tyron Matthew. Uh, Tyron Matthew is because of age, right? I mean, Chris Olave is a rookie. He's getting paid five. Yeah. Trevor Penning. Yeah, also. that's normal. Trevor no, Penning is going to need... be the next. This guy is going to be I'm the next. I'm sorry, like, but Taysom like Hill Quinn, is too uh, much. No, like a hybrid he's a jackass. Prodigy. This guy's a. Ja- I've seen him gouge eyes in the middle of games. He's a jackass. Uh, he's going to be the next. Really? Like, uh, he's going to be the next. Um. Olave's well, only get paid five. What's his name? Nope. What was the he jackass that played for the the Raiders and the Dolphins? Uh, uh fuck. I know Richie you're Incognito. About he's gonna be the next Richie oh. Incognito. Hopefully, minus the racial slurs. Davenport's only getting paid on his final year a hundred one point nine million. Wait, um, can you link this website? Uh, yeah, this is go... Sports Track. Oh, Sports Track. Okay. Yes. Yeah, sp- sport Rack. Bot Track. Bot rack, sport track, spo track, whatever. All right. Yeah, I got it. But, I got it. I'm looking through this. Yeah. But um, the Saints. So, so all the cap space. Wait, what? No, what's wait, what the fuck? Tampa Bay has a wait. How you? Oh, you're filtering it for 2024. I had 2023. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Trey Hendrickson is the highest paid player in 2024 for the Bengals. Because Joe Burrow still has rookie deal. Yep, Jamar Burrow. Chase still on his rookie. Yep. But they're not paying him? Well, they're paying him, but it's not like a cap hit because Even of then, we only got Lyle Collins for eight mil, Mike Hilton for seven yeah. mil, Alex Kappa for nine mil, Jamar Chase is Wait, nine Joe mil. Joe Mixon has a is Joe Mixon still on a rookie deal or no, no, no we resigned him. We drafted him a long time ago. Joe Mixon was being handed the ball by uh Joe Mixon was being handed the ball by you have Joe Andy Mixon Dalton. for thirteen mil. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. How long is his contract? Like the Bengals are doing, they don't pay that much. Click on they him. don't. How much? Don't. How much does he have left in his contract? Eight months or years? His last year's twenty twenty five. Yep, and he's oh. an unrestricted free agent come twenty twenty five. Damn, that's actually pretty yeah. good. You got him for another year for cheap. Yeah. Well, I mean, Bengals. Bengals are cheap too. Oh my god, look at the they Bears. Have in the past. Dude, go yeah, to the now we're not. Oh my god, there's yeah, the literally Bears no is, one. Oh, yeah. It's just Eddie Jackson I mean, and the uh, white hair. Which white hair we could get rid of because he's not wow. all that. 18 mil, 18 mil, and drop. 6 mil, 2, 2, 2, 2, yeah. two one, one, one. And you have guys playing under a mil. My That's god. crazy. Your kicker. Yep, that's dude, a lot of- we have so much money. It's nuts. We could sign. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see this. You want to laugh at something? Even though he's good. This is Tennessee Titans. Where is he? Are you looking for Tannehill? No. Who are you looking for? Didn't Stonehouse get paid a ton? No. I thought he's a rookie. Some kicker. Wait, punter Derek got Henry's paid only getting paid two mil? Derek Henry. Stonehouse. Yeah. Uh, this is the final year of his deal. It's the final year of his deal. Oh. Uh, yeah, but um, but Stonehouse is a rookie, or like a yeah, he's not. Somebody he, got paid he, a ton of money. Somebody got re re set up. Was it Justin Tucker? 
No, I think it was Stonehouse, and he got paid, uh, I think, the highest paid punter, almost a million dollars. Yeah, but I mean, did have you seen his kicks, though? Oh, yeah. Like, it, it, he, great. Mm, he broke the record of the net yardage for punting. Quentin Nelson, 25 mil for the Colts to force Buckner what's, 20 mil. What's kind of scary is um, Giants salary Gas cap. Base? Yeah, they're yeah. All young. Oh, yeah, they have a lot. They they have I a mean, lot of money, and they're good too. Galladay, they didn't pick Thibodeau. Their second highest paid player is Cam Thibodeau's rookie deal. I'm surprised Galladay is getting paid twenty one mil. What the fuck? Yeah, he's yeah. not with that at all. They're gonna try to get him. No. no. And Daniel, they didn't pick up Daniel Jones' fifth year deal. Ram Cano. Hmm. Ugh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Texans is just. Texans is just Braden Cook, <laughs> 24 mil, and the rest is like under yeah. 10. It's funny. So, okay, so the Jets are 12th in, dra- in the cap space of all the teams we looked at. So, Jets, Tennessee, Colts, and then. Um, I don't know, where would Rodgers go if it's just AFC? Like, yeah, Texans? Baltimore's <laughs> got a lot of cap space. Yeah, and because he didn't players. sign Lamar Jackson. Because he didn't sign Lamar Jackson, and also they had no receivers. Well, I don't know if Roquan's uh, salary is updated here. That's true. But that is, I think it's a five, four or five year hundred mil. About four, I think. So Justin that's Tucker's gonna getting up paid their five mil. Spell. Yeah, he's a good kicker. He is. Yeah, I mean, paid. yeah. This guy right here. This is gonna be a big contract. They're gonna have to get. Um, Linder bomb, yeah. yeah. Money's coming his way, man. I wanted Linder um, bomb. I have a sneaking suspicion, and the NFLPA doesn't like it, which is stupid. But um, I have a sneaking suspicion Joe Burrow is not going to take an insane amount of money. He's going to get a lot, but I don't think he's going to get like a Deshaun Watson deal. I think he's going to be like, I want guys around me to win and play games. I think you know I'm going to get a ton of sports deals and other things like that. Out, off of the field that I think, you know, he'll he'll take a decent amount of money, a good amount of money, but I don't think he's going to go and break the bank. Stretch. Yeah. But you got, see you'll that. see after, like, what happens this year and next year after his rookie deal. You'll see what happens. And also, salary cap space can go up after this year. I don't think we'll I don't resign. How. I don't think we'll resign Jonah Williams. We might, but I think we'll probably... We'll probably get somebody different at left tackle. We'll probably get a rookie, maybe. We'll draft a rookie late at left tackle. Um, I don't get how the Saints are paying $265 million and they're over by $30 million. Like There's a way. There's ways thought, to cheat around the cap. Manage roster. I don't know. That's weird. I mean, uh, you're not going to see much growth out of Rams, Browns, and Saints for some time because no. they're just way over the cap. Like the Sean Watts, that that fucking oh my god! Why did they give him that much money? That's so stupid. Because they're Browns. desperate. They are desperate. Um, I mean, they could have rocked with uh, what's his name, Brissett. Not Brissett. Um, the other Browns. Yeah, Mayfield. They could have rocked with him for a while. Nah, they already fucked him over, so. Okay. I mean, they're gonna they they were saying this is our quarterback. And then they <laughs> fucked him over, so. Yeah. Um, so we're looking at uh We're looking at some of the comments we had. We had a couple of comments actually on our last video. One from a Vikings okay. fan, um, that actually Mastin <laughs> responded to. Rip. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good response. Rip. Um Muzzy was not happy about the divisions. Oh, watching God. you guys love... argue about those six division concepts uh, giving an aneurysm. I think it gave Mastin divide... That's why Mastin's div... sick. <laughs> There's another reason why I'm sick. Divine made fucking emotes in the eighth LR Discord. Yeah. Hey, what? You didn't see the fucking emotes Divine made in the eighth LR Discord? Yeah, Mastin like molding and crying. What the Lions one? No, no, the me it, molding. 
He took pictures of Macedon, like, Oh, uh, I see it. Last yeah. Um, Muzzy also asked, why are the California teams being lumped together for each of these? Why not have the Pennsylvania teams together or New York? Just the expansion is a dumb idea altogether. It's too many teams, but I can't really fathom what you guys are thinking. Because California doesn't care about their football teams. Well, also, LA. like, <laughs> having teams that are close together that play each other um, kind of creates that crosstown rivalry. Like, in Ohio, Bengals and um, Browns fans are constantly butting heads. Um, I think it'd be cool to see the the Steelers and the Eagles buttheads. No, the Giants I already do with the fucking heads. penguins. I already yeah. do with the fucking penguins. I don't want to deal with the Steelers. Yeah, I cope more. Uh, then, like seeing the battle of Texas between the Texans and the Cowboys, which the Texans will probably win most of it because it's the Cowboys. Um, well, maybe in the regular yeah. season, the Cowboys are fine. I'm kind of yeah, interesting. That just need to figure this shit out. I don't yeah. know what the fuck is wrong. Yeah. With uh, that comment from the Vikings. Uh, Page. She said, we may have lost the walk around, but we'll be back and we'll be better next year. Not many teams get as far as we did with a rookie coach. The dynasty is only beginning. Skull Vikings. Masson, um response said, I got to give credit to O'Connell for the record winning 12 games by one score when last year they lost eight games by one score. The defense was really bad for Minnesota this year. I'd say get some defensive players and draft free agency, then hope for a new DC better than the last one. And those one score oh, yeah. wins become multiple score wins with making those losses to wins. Um, yeah, I think yeah. your only problem with the Vikings is the defense. Yeah, I don't think you have a quarterback issue at all. I think I mean that game, like the defense was just trash. There's no way they were going to be able Their to win. Their defense was trash in the Kirk whole Cousins. year. Kirk Cousins, were, man. Kirk, Kirk Cousins, Cousins was putting up points. I mean, still, oh, who the Vikings can get? Who can the yeah, Vikings but, get as a well, QB? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Love. Like Kirk Cousins was still putting up points for the Vikings. Oh, yeah, but he's inconsistent. You can't have inconsistency at quarterback. You can't. I don't think that's his. I don't. I don't think it's his fault. I don't think it's all his fault. I think it's a defense. If you're scoring, like I mean, okay. yeah, it's what not all it? on him. Score? But at the same time, yeah. having a consistent quarterback would help. I mean, maybe they get a Lamar. Who knows? Will Lamar like work s- in that system? No. There's Lamar no would way. work in nearly any system. He can do everything, bro. Okay, it was thirty-one twenty-four Giants. You can't let the Giants score thirty-one points. Like, come on. That's I mean, that's they do have that's a, a defensive. They problem. have a a crafty attack with like options with Barkley and Jones, and then Ingram running around. Like they they're crafty, but at the same time, yeah, their defense did not show up, and that was their biggest Dude, issue. The Vikings went thirteen and four. Like yeah. they they should have done way better. In spite than, of their defense, yes, yeah. I think so. If the, if they show up the defense, I think they're. I think their offense is good enough already. Yeah. What we'll and do. You don't need an absurd like offense at all. Like it just needs to be good. Yeah. Breaking news: We will yeah. be doing the football stooges in the off season. Um, and I think what I'm planning thus far, off the run by you two, but this could be me running it by now, is we'll take yeah. eight weeks and we'll cover all eight divisions in football and break down how each team did last season, what they need to improve. Who they could go get and who they give should them draft. Grades. You know, give them grades. Yeah, we'll do like an AFC North week, an AFC South, an AFC East, an AFC West, and an NFC North, NFC South, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, we'll, we'll 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 break down a lot of that. Um, we might do a draft special for at least maybe just the first round. We could live know. stream it too. If we, we could. To. The draft does take like eighty-seven thousand three hundred and forty-four oh billion goodness. hours. Right. Um, no, we would do the first, the first day. Yeah, we would just yeah, do the, the first, first day. Even then, it takes like 10 hours. Jesus. First day. First yeah, day. Mel Kiper. Like four yeah, Mel Kiper coming out there. It's like, uh, the, them drafting this new quarterback out of East Central Carolina State was not really the best move they could have made, but still a great move they could have made. Uh, you'd be hard-pressed to tell me otherwise. Like, I, I, every year you see him just go off. It's, I, yeah. Um, but, <laughs> hey, we don't got to look forward to the draft or anything. We got to look forward to conference football. Conference championship football. You gotta look forward to the Eagles and the Niners. And then the match as well. We ain't talking about the team sport like football, baby. Fifth straight AFC championship game. He's coming. Jamar is coming. Jamar so is coming. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, but enjoy some football. Both games are on Sunday. 3 o'clock for Niners-Eagles, 6 o'clock Bengals-Steve. Those are both Eastern Standard Time, Fox and CBS, respectively. Enjoy some football. 
It's coming down. We don't have many games left. We technically only have three, four if you include the Super Bowl or the Pro Bowl, excuse me. Um, but hey, it's been a great season. Hopefully, it ends well for my team. Sorry, Macedon. Um, but fuck you, my sake. I need something positive, <laughs> bro. Bengals, Eagles, Super Bowl. Please let it happen. Please, uh, dear, we'll have, dear we'll football have, gods. We'll have the football Mamba. Stooges. We will have Mamba start hosting the football stages if that happens. We'll have to reorganize oh the, the guys up here. Um, but yeah, but yeah, enjoy football. From us to you, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe to all of our channels. Um, and leave a comment down below. We'll do our best to answer them. The more questions, the better. Um, we hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned. Watch the football and run the damn ball. Have a good night.